Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Terminatus with the Rubicon Models uh, 1 to 56 scale A15 Crusader. This is the unboxing video. It's the first time I've uh, done something like this for uh, a miniature war game uh, from a historical setting, so bear with me. This is um, quite an interesting little kit because it makes, um, I think there's five potential variants um, in there with different weapon options and, and even two different turrets, completely different turrets, one being the, um, the sort of, uh, Crusader tank and one being the Crusader anti-aircraft uh, system. And lots of uh, manufacturers could learn a thing or two by giving people a wee bit more choice um, in their boxes. I know I've had a, a pop at Games Workshop in the past because with the slightest bit of extra sprue you could have made um, two or three different variants and saved yourself a fortune, but they, they wanted to, to get as much money out as you can. Um, the decals or water slide transfers whatever you want to call them, seem to be really high quality. I had a good look there to see what sort of uh, cores or regiments were, were represented and I think you'll find there's probably something for for everyone, including some uh, some of the more unusual ones, which is uh, pretty cool to see and plenty choice. Uh, it's unlikely you'll, you'll ever park it next to one that's identical anyway, that's for, that's for sure. I love the fact they're protected in a bag as opposed to a little piece of tissue paper that will magically vanish as soon as you open the box and certainly um, different from other manufacturers. Um, Rubicon models uh, would appear to give you all your sprues in individual bags, which again is, a, is just a really nice touch. Um, it keeps all your bits together just in case you get interrupted by a small child. Uh, having been there, uh, <laughs> stuck in everything back in the box, it's hard to get your place again. Whereas this, um, it's easy to follow instructions, nice calmly laid out uh, they're not trying to cram too much detail in there it's they're easy to follow and if i can follow them trust me uh, anyone can uh, but they, they go a little bit extra uh, to help you there by stamping uh, on some of the parts as well so i'll come to that in just a wee second the quality of the plastics is uh, is top notch um, not a single bent or misformed piece in the entire uh, set which is obviously what you would expect um, unless you're used to sort of Forge World models which you have to spend half your time bending and flexing with a hairdryer or boiling water to, to fix. With these ones it looks pretty straightforward. I love the fact there's a lot of texture, a lot of tactile texture so you can actually feel the rivets, you can actually feel there's a sort of graininess to that, that metal cover there uh, which hopefully will make painting uh, and using uh, weathering uh, and washes and inks and stuff like that a whole lot easier but the general level of detail considering this is actually not a display piece but this is for a war game in this 1 to 56 of bolt action -y type uh, part of the world is is pretty high I mean you've got to you've got to look at that and think well that's pretty high um, again there's some other manufacturers out there that could probably learn a thing or two um, I love the I love the tracks. I love the fact there's a slight dip in the top part of the track, so as gravity's kind of pulling it down between the wheels, it's not so much. Um, so it's easy to see, but it's the general impression it gives is is pretty clever. And there's the front gun plate. It's a front end plate there as well, and that's uh, uh, pretty well detailed. So loving all the bits, plenty strength and all the little delicate parts. Uh, very very happy. So let's open up uh, bag two and see what's in the second frame. Um, okay, so that's the um, the actual tank um, turret with the commander's hatch open, and you'll see the, um, the sort of breech cover on the right hand side of it there. There's a little um, uh, point defence uh, turret that goes on the front, but even uh, reading the instructions, I learned that most crews took that off because it was a hindrance more than anything else. Um, so nice little history piece as well. On the uh, the actual frames themselves the, the parts are stamped well there you can clearly see it says mark one or mark two um, and there's there are other variants as well so the anti-aircraft turret is marked with aa for anti-aircraft uh, artillery so that's pretty handy let's have a look at that right now so you'll see all the, the sort of finer detail parts are in this one and the side skirts for the mark three are included there and you can clearly see it says aa so Pretty handy, uh, especially if you're not particularly hand, uh, particularly au fait with um, your history and you're just buying the kit to, to flesh out an army. Or it'll really help you build these. But I'm imagining most people will know exactly what they're going to get when they, when they order one of these things.
So if everything goes according to plan, there'll be two more videos, one uh, of which is building and the other one will be um, the painting. Um, so it, as I say, it's my first time at building historical miniatures. I've been 40k um, uh, my entire model in life. So this is a step into the unknown. So uh, if you've got one of these kits, uh, come along and do it with me and uh, we'll see how we get on. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, speak to you all soon. Thanks. Bye bye.